I'd read about all the interesting tales of ayahuasca and thought that I might be ready for a powerful experience so I decided to brew my own. Having just moved to the area a few months ago I don't really have a net of friends set up for psychedelic drug usage so the following experience was all me. It was a Saturday, and I spent all day gathering the supplies needed to brew the mixture, food processor, scale, pan, lemons, and vitamin C tabs. The recipe was a synthesis of about all the others I'd read. First I ground 2.5 grams of Syrian rue seeds and boiled them in one cup of water made acidic via lemon juice and the vitamin C tab. I let that boil for roughly 10 minutes, then I filtered out the roux, and reboiled it in fresh water. Then I filtered again, and drank the brew. It didn't taste that bad, to all the people that complain I say overwhelm the taste with lemon juice, hey it worked for me smile most refs said to use 10 grams of diplopterous cabanera leaves but being the cautious person that I am I only used 8 grams. The leaves were shredded in and processed in the same manner as the roux, except 2 cups of water was used per extraction. After two extractions the volume was simmered down to two cups and drank. I feared the Mao inhibition might not have been enough so on a whim I put a spoonful of Syrian rue seeds down the hatch. I waited 20 minutes, nothing. 30 minutes, minor visual disturbances, nothing spectacular. Determined to salvage this trip I put on my best ambient psychedelic trance, E. Are you spungled yet? Tip, mystical experiences, Atmos head cleaner, relaxed, pulled out my new smoke bubbler. Basically a $20 light bulb with a built-in straw for smoking pure chemicals, put around 20 mg of a substance which I'd never tried, 5-methoxy-DMT, in and proceeded to tote the bitch. Soon, i.e. 5 seconds, the drug hit me like a freight train forcing me to put the pipe down, close my eyes and concentrate on the art of breathing, for fear that if I didn't I'd stop breathing smile it felt great but I hadn't approached ego death. Ego death has rocked my world twice on acid, and really really scared me. I could feel the painful tugging but I was unprepared to let go, so I merely let the effects of the 5 Mayu wear off a bit. The 5 Mayu really really engaged the DMT and my body felt wonderful. No nausea or chemical nastiness of any kind. Just me, my energized body, great trance music, and beautiful kaleidoscopic visuals, oh Evansev. I smoked more 5 Mayu, but it only made me mildly higher. By 3 hours I was almost fully down from both substances, so I left my room and watched the brain-eating filth box, aka TV, for about half an hour. All in all I was hoping the experience to be stronger with more significance. But I fear that at a higher dosage my ego will be ripped to shreds and I'll have a terrifying 5 hours of saying why the fuck did I do this.